Ooh, look at this. This is a spitting cobra, a huge one as well. I'm keeping these goggles on because they can spray their venom up to two meters in length. This animal I'm gonna be looking for today also spits its venom. It's a thick tail scorpion. It's able to spray its very toxic venom at a potential attacker. I'm hoping I'll be able to do exactly this with a thick tail scorpion. Woo! My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. Wow! Woo! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. They're not seeing me as a threat. Spinning cobra! You know, absolutely gorgeous. Going about their business. Yes. Come on, let's go. Just heading over this ridge over here to a place that I've come before, which I know is scorpion heaven. Woo! There you go. It might be unusual to go on the lookout for scorpions during the day, but thick-tailed scorpion does forage in the early morning and late evening, actively hunting for their prey. And this spot is teeming with them as it has the perfect conditions. This is a perfect location to find the big thick-tailed scorpion. It's the only scorpion that I know of that actually is active during the day. It is a very naturally dry area, but there is actually a permanent water source right there. So we've actually got a huge population of invertebrates. And that means scorpions have a lot of food to eat. Everywhere I look, there's an armored cricket. So look, armored cricket there, armored cricket here, armored cricket there, armored cricket there, armored cricket there. It's just cricket, cricket, armored crickets, everywhere. You've got perfect habitat, the water which is feeding this vegetation and the armoured crickets which feeds the animals such as the scorpions. And the scorpions are the king of this area. Any scorpions out foraging will probably be warming up on the ridge where it catches first light. So as I head up that way I scan the ground for any movement. So here, the baboons, they obviously come down here, the baboons, ho, ho! That's their morning calls. Just watching out, watching the sunrise, and then they'll be off foraging as well. And they like to eat scorpions, interestingly. Baboons love scorpions. They're one of the species um, of mammals that have learned how to disarm the sting of a scorpion and then eat them. Look at that spider, wow! It's an arachnid, so scorpions are, are also arachnids. The difference between a scorpion and a spider is that the scorpion obviously has a stinger on the back, which is the way it kills its prey. Whereas the spider, they're all venomous, but they have two fangs on the front. Never seen, never seen a spider like that. No luck yet, but it's only a matter of time as this place truly is scorpion heaven. All sorts of species make their home here, including the strictly nocturnal ones. So the scorpion during the times when he's not out foraging will be spending his time underneath these rocks. Certainly if I move some of these rocks, you'll see the nocturnal scorpions. Just show you, see, I'll find a couple, just show you. There's one. Woo! Not the target species, this is a nocturnal rock scorpion. That's the first rock I lifted. It's insane. You can see, now that isn't a very deadly scorpion at all. De well, not for humans. You can see massive pincers in compared to the size of their stinger. Now, so scorpions have two options in the way that they can kill their prey. They either use their pincers or they use their sting. And in this case, this scorpion is using the more powerful pincers in order to subdue its prey. And that stinger, is, it won't do too much harm towards its prey. But that is a harmless scorpion. Absolutely, no problem whatsoever. I would not be doing this with a thick tail scorpion because the difference in venom potency is just astronomical. This is like one on the Richter scale, whereas the thick tail scorpions that live around here, number 10 on the Richter scale, it's just a completely different beast. So we're gonna put this one down and we'll keep going along this ridge, see if we can find our target species of the day. So put it back under his rock. 
time to keep searching. It's all about good timing. Your chances go down hugely as it gets later on in the day, as it gets too hot for them. Then they go under a rock or deep into a crevice. Oh look, we've got some kudu just running down the rocks. Wow, look at that. You managed to get a glimpse of them there. That was a kudu bull with a big horn spiraling out. Scorpion! Yes! Woo! We found him! That is an absolute whopper! Woo! It's huge! Do not underestimate the power of that scorpion. It is insane. It's a really big one as well. That's definitely as big as they get. Six inches or so. And you can see the size of that stinger in comparison to those pincers. That is the telltale sign of an incredibly dangerous scorpion. Huge stinger. It's probably about five times the size of those pincers. In comparison to that other scorpion, it's completely the other way around. But there's no way I'm going to freehand all this one. I feel like I could, but it's literally risking my life. If I got stung by this scorpion, I could easily die. There's no question about this. In terms of drop for drop, in terms of venom and potency, it would be three, four times stronger than the cobras out here. Cobras are some of the most venomous snakes in the world. They have similar type of venom, neurotoxic venom, but this drop for drop would be stronger than a cobra's venom. It's quite a small um, stick, but we'll give it a go. Yes. But look at the size of that stinger. Out of all the scorpions in the world, there's about 2,300 species. There's only about 20 species that are actually potentially deadly towards people. And they're all within this family called the Bufidae's. This is in the Bufidae's, and it is the largest of the Bufids. So in terms of power of venom, it's in the, amongst the top 20. And not only that, it's the largest of those, which means if, if I was to categorize it in terms of danger, potentially the most dangerous because the venom yield is more than any other scorpion in their group. But scorpions, you know, they naturally have evolved to just be very good hunters. They are, of course, evolved to defend themselves because they do have predators. Now we saw the baboon this morning, ooh, ooh, and they'll definitely have learned how to eat this scorpion. There'll be a danger element for the, the baboons, especially handling one of these. It is one of the only scorpions that's actually able to spray its venom at a potential attacker. It actually can squeeze its venom glands, which are either side of the stinger, and sprays it up to three feet into the air. And if that venom gets into your eye, it would certainly potentially cause blindness, but you definitely wouldn't be able to see the scorpion very well and then eat it. So that's one very good defense mechanism that this scorpion has evolved to, to deter a potential predator. The other thing, a bit like a rattlesnake, they, they rattle their tail as a warning sign if there's a potential predator coming along and they feel threatened. This scorpion, they have um, an ability to create this um, sound, like a scratching sound that's quite loud if they feel threatened. So basically they rub the first two parts of, it, of its tail against the back and it sounds quite scary, is a way of saying, don't come anywhere near me, I am highly venomous and I could potentially kill you. And then spray the venom if it gets anywhere closer. Last resort, bam, stinger straight into the potential attacker. It's just the king. This is the king scorpion, the king of them all. This one, he's the boss. So cool, love him, let's put him down. Just a beast. He's just, he's just, he's just sensing every part of the environment. Very, and just is aware of every, all those surroundings. Woo! Wow, okay. There you go. Okay, so we've got an armored cricket that's just gone in the path of this scorpion and has absolutely nailed it. The stinger just, punctured straight into that, into that armor cricket. And actually moving him um, probably to another location. Oh, 
but it's amazing. I think he's probably going to take him to his uh, uh, rocky crevice. You know, he's trying to get through here. Just help him to get through. Off you go. Yeah, that way. He's just carrying it like a bodybuilder. Come on, take that with you, mate. Well, there you go. I think we've now demonstrated how amazing these thick tail scorpions are. They truly are the boss scorpions of this area. The thick tailed scorpion, yes. Thank you.